God bless you. We're going to ask if you would reach out and grab the neighbor hand that's standing next to you. And today I want you to get a real good firm grip. I want to make sure that everybody is connected to somebody. Because today, truly God wants to do something great in our lives. And we have to get to a point and a place in God that we stop praising him and worshiping him just for cars and houses and apartments and loan approvals and this man that I want because he looks a certain way or this woman that I want because I feel like she could complete me. But we've got to go back to what God said and that is seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness and the things that you need to help you carry on this Christian life will be added unto you but we've got to learn how to trust God got to learn to trust him even in the situation that you're in may not look good but you got to know that God is yet in charge I want you to understand something today that that hand that you're holding isn't just by accident that they sit down near you or the usher sit them on this pew. But I want you to understand today that it's by divine appointment by God. They need to have you to pray for them. They need you to bless them and to tell them and to encourage them. So today, you need to understand the greatness of God's anointing on your life. Even as I submit unto him, I declare today that there is a miracle in this place. There is life-changing anointing in this place. For those of you whose marriage has been struggling and relationship feel like it's going asunder I want you to know today that there is help for you right here in the hand that you're holding I want you to understand those that's been struggling financially whether it be in your body uh, dealing with health issues or on your job or with your transportation or your housing or your children or whatever the case may be I want you to know because you sit beside me today <laughs> woo, that God is gonna give you everything that you need for the fact that you came into these doors today and submitted yourself unto him that there's a miracle not just in the preacher but in the Word of God now that you are connected to somebody that believe like you believe I want you to spend the next few minutes in prayer not praying for you but praying for that hand that you're holding Father in Jesus name we thank you today for we realize that silver and gold isn't enough to carry us where we want to go but we need a touch from you today, God. Realizing that we can't make it by ourselves. It doesn't matter what we've been through. It really doesn't matter where we are right now. But the real truth is where we are going. And I believe that every one of us can make our plans large today. For great is your future. Some things I want to say in the presence of the people. Some things you just have to go through. Some of us have to suffer some things. But one thing you can count on for sure. That God will be right there. He's never left us. Nor has he forsaken us. And I pray today. Father that you strengthen my brother strengthen my sister bless them right now in the name of Jesus lighten their load let them know that that God is with them to carry them through 
all of the dark places in their lives. And Father, I'm never going to give up on you. The Bible says that the arms of flesh will fail us. Said, but God will never fail us. He'll be there when no one else can. So I thank you right now, God, for the reassurance to know that you're walking and standing right by my side. In Jesus' name, we pray and we give you glory. Now release those hands and give God the best hand praise you have in the name of Jesus. Give him glory. Give him praise because he's worthy to be praised in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Why don't you hug two or three people while you're standing? Why don't you hug two or three people and just encourage them? Tell them, say, you can make it. We will make it. You've already made it. Come on. Show somebody love this morning. In the name of Jesus. Somebody get those visitors and tell them. I encourage you to keep on keeping on. Thank you, Jesus. Silver and gold. Silver and gold. I'd rather have Jesus than silver and gold. but I'm going to give him a praise. Hallelujah. I'd rather have Jesus. I'd rather have Jesus. I'd rather have Jesus. Money's going to dissipate. I'd rather have Jesus. My friend's going to walk away. I'd rather have Jesus. Oh, yes, I do. Fortune, riches untold. Come on, sing choir. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, give him another praise. I don't know about you, 
You may have your seats. God bless you. I don't know about you, but I'm up for the challenge. Amen. Amen. Come on now. Amen. I've been through worse than this. I've been hit on every side, and I've survived some things. So if you think that this task is going to stop me today, I've been discouraged before. I've been down before. But I feel help coming. Glory to God. And my help is in the sanctuary. Y'all ain't going to help me today. Ooh, let me do a little introduction before I preach because I feel God right now. Thank God certainly for being here again. And glory to God for Dr. Williams allowing me to share in this place. And then you just showing up. <laughs> because if nobody else was here and the doors were shut, well, if the, even if the doors was open, me and my wife come in and nobody here to preach to but the pews. I may have gotten discouraged and got to, in my car and went to the hotel. Amen. But I thank God for you showing up this morning. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. It's such a good thing to be in the place of God where you can hear the voice of God. Amen. And so many times we miss our assignment in God because we out of place. Amen. Ooh. That was pretty good, anyhow. We get out of place sometimes because we get distracted. Your wife having ironed your favorite shirt this morning, so I ain't going. I didn't get a chance to wash my car yesterday, and I'm not going. You know, I, I, I got upset and laid my supervisor out and cussed my supervisor. I just want to say it well like I won't say it. And cussed my supervisor out and I ain't going. The dog is sick and the guppies ain't doing good and I'm just not going. We can come up with some stuff. Walmart, you know, I, I, I don't go into Walmart because the lady and I had a problem so I can't buy any stocking so I ain't coming. We can come up with some stuff why we don't come and gather today but thank God for you yeah. that came out if you only knew some of the struggle that it took for me to get here y'all wouldn't make me work so hard today <laughs> but I'm up for the task amen, amen. certainly amen I'm so grateful that my wife has been able to come and share with me and she came from North Carolina this morning about 6 a.m. and pressed her way on through and, and I think she's deserving of a hand just to be in this place. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. And, and I've kept that little, that little mighty man in her arms all this weekend and he has wore me out. So I was glad when they said unto me, <laughs> let us go anywhere. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. I'm just glad to see you smiling and seem like you're just happy. Amen. Because sometimes you go into some churches and they got to spend the first half hour checking you out. And after you done screaming, sweating, broke a vocal, and then they say, well, okay, go ahead and preach. <laughs> Amen. But I'm here. And as I grow in God and I understand a little bit better that I realize even as Abraham said, uh, I'm sorry, even as Moses said that I have to learn how to preserve myself for some degree for another day. And so uh, to learn how to expend all of my energy it really takes a time of me to understand how to pace myself. So I'm finding myself now as I'm getting a little bit older and a lot grayer and my wife reminds me, you know, I got hair showing up on my earlobes and a little gray mixed in my eyebrow and, and I'm recognizing the times that we are in. And I understand that in these in times like these, you know, we really need a savior. In times like these, we really need, as the songwriter said, good Holy Ghost revivals. 
And we find ourselves sometimes showing up for services and showing up for church without getting real the real essence of what God has called us to church for. Mm -hmm. 